In this week's Friday Five, we talk about five basic media management features that I love about Final Cut Pro 10. One of the things that I love about Final Cut Pro 10 is that the app makes it super easy to view your camera media. So instead of having to go into the file structure like this, deep down into various folders that are named weird and file names that are ambiguous and sometimes you can't even play back the media via the finder, the thing I like about Final Cut Pro 10 is that when you plug in an SD card or plug in a compatible camera, Final Cut Pro 10 is going to display the contents of that external media source in a way that simply makes sense. For instance, when I plug in my SD card from my Panasonic GH5, notice what happens here. It automatically shows the media source, named Lumix. I just click on that and then all of my media clips are there. I don't have to go in and browse a directory, uh, delve deep into some weird file structure. It just shows the files just like you would expect. And the nice thing is that you can preview and scrub through those clips without having to commit to an import. And speaking of importing clips, Final Cut Pro 10 makes it easy. You can do so right from the import interface, of course. And the nice thing is, along with being able to scrub through and preview those clips, you can actually select a particular portion of the clip using in and out points and just import that particular portion of the clip instead of having to import the whole clip. It's gonna save you time. Uh, you can use JKL scrubbing and identify just the right portion of the clip that you wish to import. Now, depending on your Mac and its hardware configuration, you may find a less than ideal playback experience for the files recorded by the camera. Thankfully, Final Cut Pro 10 has a very nice way to resolve this issue on import, and that is by transcoding those files, likely an H.264 file recorded by the camera, to optimize ProRes or Proxy. And that will likely make playback a lot smoother on your machine. Now, when it comes to organizing your imports and finding the exact file that you're looking for, then media metadata can be extremely helpful. And Final Cut Pro 10 has a very robust metadata system. You can go in and sort on, as you can see, a very wide array of metadata items. And you can, of course, sort ascending or descending. You can add different metadata items to the list and remove different items. There's also the ability to filter media. Now there are several ways to do this. We're gonna talk about a couple here. The first is by setting an in and out point like this and then tagging that clip. So I'll just go up to where it says mark and select favorite like this. So now that I've marked that as a favorite, you see the little green line there, I can filter directly on those tags. So you can see just that portion of the clip, just that little section shows up when I filter. Now you can also perform a search and search on various types of metadata. So I'm gonna go here and build a search. We're gonna search on um, frame size. Frame size is, and I'm just gonna use the UHD frame size there. And you can actually save that to a new smart collection. And this is basically just a smart search and any items that meet the criteria will automatically show up when I select that smart collection. So you can see all of my clips, UHD clips, 3840 by 2160. And I can quickly switch. And now it shows all the clips there. And I can click it again to filter just the UHD content. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at five of my favorite basic media management features in Final Cut Pro 10. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.